Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another Building Hogwarts update. And today I started on a new section of the castle. The uh, Viaduct Entrance Hall seems to be the the most accurate name I could find for it. Uh, but it is the the beginning of the large structure that eventually leads into where I'm putting the library and then the long gallery uh, with the bell towers at the end. And as far as where it is in relation to everything else, it's on the opposite side of the long bridge in the middle of Hogwarts. Uh, so it faces the Great Hall. So it's kind of turned 90 degrees right now from where it would actually be. But Great Hall, Entrance Hall, then the the bridge kind of comes off this corner of the entrance courtyard. And that leads straight into the front of this structure here. I'm not entirely sure what is inside it um, as far as officially I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to put in it either I'll probably have maybe like the staff room and it's it's a very large space as you can see uh, for me to fill up I'll probably have uh, maybe even a hallway that goes down uh, to get to the, uh, these towers which are going to have staircases in them they're as small as I could make them and still fit the staircase in there um, and then these are just uh, as small as I could make them using this alternating pattern of the 1x3 bricks and the 1x1 cylinder pieces. And this is pretty long. It's five uh, 16 by 16 plates in width and then two deep. Uh, so very good sized structure. I had started it one other time um, where it was, I think, like, four and a half of the 16 by 16 plates and it just didn't leave enough room to get a good set of doors going here uh, so extended it by eight more studs and I think that really helped this pull off the overall look and I think this is probably going to be the dimensions I'm going to go with uh, of course you might have noticed there's a table here that wasn't here before and that's because uh, this section of the castle so the viaduct entrance hall, library, long gallery, bell towers is uh, longer than one of my tables. Those tables are I think like a little over 47 inches. I'm not sure what that converts to in centimeters. Uh, but that's almost four feet. So this whole section of the castle with this added on in front now, we're probably looking at four and a half to five feet in length. Um, which is ridiculous, that's way larger than I was expecting this to be, but I think uh, it's turning out pretty well. I am very happy with how it is coming along. I also worked some more on the exterior of the library and Charms Classroom. Charms Classroom underneath, library is the top kind of two floors of this. Previously I just had the front facade done. I did rework some of this as well, uh, and actually ended up shortening it by two bricks to make it line up better with the roofing of the long gallery. But I think it's looking pretty good. So the exterior of this is, is really pretty much done uh, for this section. And then I'll have the large tower that sticks up out of the middle here. And then pretty much just a mirror of this on the other side. We're going to have to get a bunch more parts for it because I'm actually out of the window pieces. What you see set up here and the laying behind it is all that I have left of my windows. I had hundreds of those to uh, start with here, but the library really ate up quite a few with all of its windows on the sides of it. So I need to place a new order to get a bunch more of those window frames. I'm also running low on, I think, the 2 by 3 tan bricks, which are... I'm going through way faster than expected because of little little things like this. These. These are each three wide here, so it just eats up the pieces like like nothing else. But I'm happy with the progress so far. Uh, make sure you let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Check out some of the previous updates if you haven't uh, seen them before. And thank you for watching.